Hello, my name is John Sayer, Technical Marketing Manager, Civil Infrastructure here at Autodesk. Today I'd like to take you through another session looking at virtual reality creation using the AEC collection. This is VR Level 2, Part 5, what I'm calling Part 5, and we're still looking at a land development project in VR. Now, today what we're going to look at is adding multiple levels to the experience. And I'll explain what I mean by that thoroughly here in just a second. So let's get started. All right, let's get started. So I am continuing to use this current data set that I've been using on the last uh, four parts of the series that we've been going through. So what I wanted to do was, I've, actually, I've had a lot of people ask, you know, what if I have more than one proposal or more than one level of site that I'd like to see inside of my VR experience, and I'd like to switch between those? Well, I kind of equate that back to, if I have multiple proposals inside of InfraWorks. So I might have an existing conditions proposal, and then I have my proposed uh, condition, which is what you see here that has my surface and my building and everything that I'd like to show as the proposed building. So what I wanted to do was take you through how to actually create that. And it's, it's a very simple process. So again, think of it as existing conditions and then what our proposed layout's going to be. So in the other parts of the series, I've been showing you how to import all that information a piece at a time into 3ds Max Interactive. So I'm not going to go through that process today, but what I am going to do is just jump into 3ds Max Interactive and show you what you need to do to add that level. So what I did was I just went up and selected uh, File a New Level, and I created a new level for my existing conditions. All right, so I've already done this. So I'm just going to go back and go to Open Level, and I'll pick my, my other level uh, that I brought in. So now I actually have two different levels inside of this project. So this is my existing conditions, and I, I this is a very basic existing conditions uh, site. This is just a drone survey. Um, this is the, you can see here, you can see the existing surface, the road, things that nature that the drone information picked up. So take it with a grain of salt. This is just existing conditions, and this is, again, I'm showing the workflow on how to change back and forth between proposals or change between levels inside of your VR experience. So we want to be able to switch to this if we're standing on site, and then we want to be able to go back to, and I'll open up my proposed level, this proposed level here. All right, so uh, for instance, I'm standing, say, right here at the edge of the building. I want to go to that position or teleport to that position and then be able to toggle back and forth between existing conditions and what is proposed. You could have multiple proposed levels in here also. So we could show this building moved over here in a different parking scenario, things of that nature. So just trying to get your mind um, thinking about how you could use this particular feature. All right, so in order to do this, we just need to go into, we, well, number one, we need to have uh, every level that we want in there. So we've got the two levels. I'll go back and hit open levels. So we've got our two levels here, SRP being our proposed level and SRP EG being our existing conditions. Okay. Now, remember that our project start is set right here in this particular level. And this is going to be the default level that we come into in our particular experience. So we'll just go ahead and select level flow, and we're going to add a level flow to our existing level flow. All right, and we'll create one here, and we'll also create one in the existing conditions level. So this particular level flow, you basically just create what's called a change level level node. All right, so I can hit tab, and I can type change level. All right, I'll zoom into it so you can see it a little better. All right, so... I want to change to my existing conditions from my proposed. So I would select here where it says name, and I would select that existing conditions level. All right. Now, I need to go ahead and map that to a Steam VR button. We are using the HTC Vive as our, as our hardware. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down to Steam VR, input and in Steam VR button. All right. One last thing, we need a level update so that when we press that button, it knows to update the level. So I'm going to go ahead and type tab, and I'll type in level update, and that's going to be basically our event. So first thing we do is make sure that we select the level that we want, and again, I've, I'm just going to select it again. So 
this SRPEG, I want it to switch to our existing conditions. And I'm going to hit or select when I press it to go to in. All right. And I'll take update and tie it to out. And that's it. Now, we've done this in the proposed level. All right. So we need to go and open our existing level. We'll have to save. It'll prompt us to save. And then we'll select our existing level or our existing conditions level and hit OK. And it brings that in. We'll go directly to our level flow and we'll create the same thing. So I'm going to type in change level. I'll go ahead and hit a tab again. Actually, I'll right click and go down to Steam VR input and Steam VR button. All right. And I'll go ahead and hit a tab and type in level update. Again, that is our event. All right, and I'll, I'll connect. Actually, let's start a change level. I'm going to try and keep the same workflow. So I'll select my name, and I want it to go back to the proposed level, which is SRP. All right? So all I need to do is just select the button. So I'm going to select pressed to in, and my update to out. Now, one thing I did forget to do, I did forget to add the button name. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it the button name is going to be the menu button on controller one. All right, we'll need to go back and do this again before we push this out in the proposed layout. So we're good to go here. I'll go to file and open level. It'll ask to save changes. And I'll pick my proposed level. All right, last thing is, and we should have done this before, but we'll go ahead and give it the button name. It's gonna be the menu button and on controller one. So we can go back to level viewport and we can go to file and save all. Tell it yes, we want to save all. All right. And the last thing we'll do, we've got everything in here that we want. So we can go right over to our deployer and we can set our path, our destination path. Uh, you can, it, it really doesn't matter which one of these you use. If you're wanting to the configuration wise, what you want to use. Um, I always just use release, but you can use development. We'll just leave it on development this time. I think I used I think I used the release on the last episode that I, I showed. So then we also give it a name and then we just select uh, package project for Windows. All right. So once that's done, then what I'm going to do is jump over into my VR machine. I'm going to show you what it does. All right. All right. So you can see that I've already launched into the HTC environment. Let me go ahead and turn on my controllers and I'm going to put the headset on so you're going to see it move around just a little bit now again you can't appreciate the experience unless you actually put on the headset so what I want to do is I'm just going to look around here all right and I can teleport around I can see where I'm or I can look at different things and then if I want to change to uh, my different proposal or my different level um, I just hit my menu button and now I'm looking at the existing conditions. I can hit it again and it goes right back to my proposed conditions or my proposed layout. Now remember, you could have multiple layouts. You can see my car going by. Um, you can have multiple layouts um, inside of or multiple levels inside of a VR experience and you can kind of equate that back to InfraWorks, how it treats proposals. So we could have several different layouts here inside of our VR experience uh, you, and you could just toggle between them by simply hitting your menu button or whatever button that you map on your controller to do so. So very quickly and, and notice that it does if you have animations inside when you switch to like this existing conditions proposal and I switch back my animation starts again. So very handy uh, to be able to look at the animations come in from the start whenever you flip back and forth uh, just a very easy way to get to get the point across um, as to what it looks like existing condition wise as opposed to what it looks like in the proposed condition that's it for today I want to thank everybody for watching and hope you have a great day